Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Google Jamboard. First you're going to start on the Google search engine. From here you're going to check to make sure that you are logged in to your Google account. Once you've checked that you're logged in, you're going to click on these nine squares up in the corner. This is going to show you all the different things that you can access through Google. You're going to scroll down until you see Google Jamboard. Then you're going to click on it. This is going to pull up all the Jamboards that have been shared with you. You're going to click on the one that says Vegetable Plants. For this Jamboard, you're going to be adding sticky notes that say what plant do you want and why. So what you're going to do is you'll click on the sticky note button here and type in whatever plant you want to add to our garden. You can change the colors from yellow, green, blue, pink, and orange, or you can have no color at all. Once you've typed in whatever you want to add to the garden, all you have to do is hit the save button and it adds it to the screen. Once you're done adding sticky notes, you just hit the cancel button. Sticky notes can be moved anywhere on the screen that you want to place them. Just make sure you don't place them on another student's sticky note. If you don't want to use sticky notes, then you can use the text box instead. You can type in the text box as well. If there's no space left on this page, then all you have to do is hit this arrow up here to take you to another page. You can add as many sticky notes as you want and as many plants. To go back to the other page, all you have to do is hit this arrow. Once you're done with the Google Jamboard and adding your plants, all you have to do is hit this back arrow to go back to the Jamboards. You can also create your own Jamboards. To do that, you hit the plus arrow down here. And then you're going to want to title the Jamboard whatever the main theme is. And then hit OK. You can also share this Jamboard with your classmates and the teacher. All you need is their Gmails. And then you can just go back to go back to the screen.